Hi there, uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I wanted to show you the first uh, full demo of this custom uh, expert advisor uh, that was built a few weeks ago. Uh, this is the concerns of uh, the Quant Analytics service. I've talked about how to set it up with uh, Microsoft Outlook and a custom add-in that you can buy online called Message Export combined with another um, script that I'm running in the background here. It's a Python script um, that you can get on GitHub and then use it in conjunction with my Quant Analytics service, uh, which will send out email signals I've talked about in other videos as well. So now we're going to focus on the testing so far, these are just testing signals. These are not really in real market conditions for profit. It's just a test if the uh, expert advisor will initially send out orders of some kind. In a demo account, I've shown you how to configure the basics of MetaTrader 4 using OANDA um, right here. So this is a dummy account. And... Uh, we have here the version of my custom uh, EA. And then we have our auto trade that needs to be turned on. You can double click this guy to activate it once it's put into your uh, folder in the data, open data folder. And then you come under MQL4, come under experts, and then you'll find the uh, EX4 extension for the custom uh, uh, expert advisor or EA. So now we have a couple of things to look at. First, let me try to explain what this expert advisor does. So when you start up the expert advisor, you'll be presented a bunch of usual settings that are really not used in this EA. It may evolve over into uh, uses of what's in the panels. In here you will notice that it will uh, look for a file called signal.csv. If you're a Quant Leap member of mine, I've put up the spec, the format of that uh, CSV, and that's generated via first the um, Outlook getting the email, the add-in to create that add-in, put it convert it to text, and then running in the background as well, you need the uh, Python script, which will then watch in the folder uh, and then create from that file, in this format here, the levels, the Fibonacci levels of the closing price, level 500, 618, um, 786, 1000. And in there, it will create once it, it captures everything it needs, converts it to that signal CSV that the EA is looking for to test to see if there are uh, the market conditions on the closing price on the Fibonacci levels are worth uh, taking a position on. So in this case, I've, I've gone through uh, all the available um, currency pairs to see if there is a chance at that time, I have a script I just wrote that will send over a uh, email with the current latest price of whatever pair I want to send over uh, with the latest uh, Fibonacci levels I just told you about. So in here you'll see I've tested Euro USD uh, in this log. Uh, I've tested a variety of um, variety of uh, different um, uh, currencies pairs. So we started with, um, for instance, let's look at for that CSV right here, Euro USD, USD ja uh, Japanese Yen. Um, in there, it will look for if there is a, a an order that can be placed based upon the logic that the coding of this EA. So I'm just gonna look for a potential order of uh, one of the pairs and I'll show you what it looks like in the log uh, 
Um, let's see. You will see an option in here for uh, the order, if I could find it, right here. Uh, okay, so we have here uh, an order put in. Again, this is not real a real signal, it's just testing. US, Japan, Yen. So the orders are always market buys. Uh, USD, Japan, Yen. The order was put in, uh, it was accepted. So there's this uh, order generated. And then um, it will uh, put that order in. So then what you can do is if you come under trade tab, you can see here one of the orders that was accepted was right here. Take profit at that level price. Uh, so the price was at 120, 108. 205 take profit was at 108 uh, 300 uh, no commission so it had a little loss there another order was put in um, again of the USD Japanese yen um, the take profit was at 108 300 and again the stop loss at 107 013 price was at 108 202 and then the price uh, was at 108.203. Had a profit, it looks like, of uh, nine cents. Now these are very small quantities. And then uh, exposure, you can see here what's in US dollars. Uh, that's what's available in the US account, uh, 95.79. Then it bought a very small amount of 301 equivalent uh, of yen in US dollar and a small little bit of uh, British pounds as well uh, here. So from there, if you look at the account history, you'll see some financial uh, charges it looks like. Uh, there was an initial uh, price here, the balance, uh, 10,000. There was a first trade I think I did yesterday with a big loss of 38. And then these two other positions that came in, the financing with a profit, uh, which were both negative of 11 and 7 cents. And another one of the USD Japanese yen of 56 cents loss. So it seems to work. So let's look at the charts. So we'll look at, uh, let's see here, uh, USD. Japanese yen, I believe that's what was traded here. USD Japanese yen was accepted as an op, as a trade. So this is what it will look like here. Uh, the number two two five four two one nine three seven, I believe, with a stop loss here in red. That's the order number. Here we bought, we set our take profit, and I believe. These are the uh, orders. So let's take profit. We bought at here uh, in green dash, the green dash line, and then the stop loss was here in the blue. Uh, sorry, in the red dash. So that that's what you could expect from the visualization. Uh, that's the only trade that's been uh, accepted so far. Uh, so. That's pretty well it. So as it stands, it, that's what you can expect once the orders are accepted in the market conditions. And I uh, just wanted to show you what you can expect out of this EA. Again, this is using MetaTrader 4. The data from the signal emails are from ON as well. Uh, if you intend to do this, I would strongly recommend that you do uh, your orders as well using ON as the broker. Uh, so that's how it stands so far, um, and uh, we shall leave it at that. But here, oh, I also forgot to mention here in the chart, we have uh, three orders. First order, uh, we had a nice profit 
a minimal again where we had 573 as profit and two other trades uh, that were losses um, at uh, down 60 cents and 37 cents. So we had a, a, an overall profit of 476. You win, you lose. And that's under the trade uh, tab here. So that's how it stands right now. I'm sure this will be uh, evolve, it will evolve over time. We just want to give you what you can expect in this uh, EA. Have a good day. Talk to you later.